Howdy everybody, we're back. It's part 12 of Pokemon Crystal. Time to get a gym badge and do a little more, you know, legendary catching. A little more, we haven't done any legendary catching. But it uh, it's time to do a lot. We're doing a lot in this video. We're, ta we're tackling one last gym badge in Johto. It uh, doesn't look like K is gonna stay alive. That's fine. That's fine. Dragon types are always tricky. Which we'll learn very soon. But. I figured the best way to go about this. Not surf. That was a. Actually, did a pretty decent job. Ice punch is, is the is what we're gonna be doing to get this. You know, there's not a lot of sports going on in the world right now, but the Kentucky men's basketball team is going crazy up in Toronto. Other than uh, MLB, of course, but we're just coming back from All Star break, so. Kentucky's kicking butt though. They look really good. Those freshmen don't look like freshmen. I know it's an exhibition against, I mean, let's face it, lesser opponents, but Reed Shepard and Adu Fierro in particular really, really looking good to me. But what do I know, right? Anyway, back to it. We're still grinding through. That was, that's a good win. That's a good win for Kaya. Especially because she... He still doesn't know. Any electric type moves. I still can't get over that. I still can't believe I didn't just wait for it to become an Umbreon or Espeon. Instead, I... Had to jump the gun. Well, that's fine. I mean, a Jolteon's cool. The Evolutions. I mean, let's face it. Vaporeon's probably the best way to go, but it wouldn't make sense for us to have since we started out with a Totodile. But... Gosh, I said it last time, I hate these boulder puzzles. I... I don't think that's right, actually. I think I should go the other way. I think I went too far. No? Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna fight him just yet. Back to it later. <laughs> this one seems fairly easy. If I start on this side, I can get this boulder. Yep, perfect. So, one more. No, nope, no, nope, that's all we got. That's all we need. It looks like two more gym trainers, and then Claire, we're coming for you. Steph Curry hit a hole in one at the uh, American Century Championship. That's that's impressive. What is he not good at? I bet he's not very good at Pokemon. I wonder if he, I wonder if Steph Curry has ever played Pokemon. That is real journalism at its finest. And I would know. Give me the credential. That's all I'm saying.
You know, they could have stopped at Dragonair, and it would have been fine. Dragonite's so overpowered in these games. And, like, Dra Dragonair is just as strong as any other major, like, fully evolved Pokemon. I mean, can learn basically all the same moves, except, I mean, maybe not, like, the elemental punch moves, like thunder, ice, fire, punch, uh, along those lines, because obviously it's like a serpent. That was not smart. And fly, of course. But it can learn all the other moves, its, it's stats are really good. Not that I'm a Dragonite hater, I mean, gosh, if you can get a Dragonite in this game, go for it, do it, man. It's hard to do, it's hard to get to level 50 in Pokemon Crystal. So, definitely one, one of, if not the strongest Pokemon in the game. Obviously, we're not even like talking Mewtwo or anything, but players giving me fits. I will say I uh, lost twice to Claire before this. So if you notice that we are a little bit leveled higher than we were before, I didn't do some uh, level grinding. I I actually tried, but the player's powerful. I mean, Dragon types are no joke. I, I'm not looking forward to Lance. Whenever I start any Pokemon game. Like, in the first three generations, it was like, oh gosh, here's Lance, we gotta face Lance. And in Fire Red and Leaf Green, they put him as the fourth member of the Elite Four instead of the champion. And, I mean, that rival is just, I mean, not that he's weaker, uh, level-wise, he's stronger. Gary, or whatever you call him you know, explicit, whatever, whatever you name your, your rival, the inappropriate name that everyone does, I think he's silver in this game, oh beautiful, but like, I think, I was probably going to level like 60, I don't know what, what happened to the leveling discrepancies in these games, because... No, no. I need... Wow. I need Kingdra to get frozen solid. There you go. There you go, but that's not it. Nope. Still more to do. Until we get our 8th gym badge. It's ridiculous, right? Come on now, Claire. You lose fair and square. There's, that's something... That There's just something with those types of... Gym leaders in Johto, in particular. First it's Whitney, now it's Claire. They just can't fathom being defeated by... Me, I guess. And then you have a another Dragonair you have to face right after you face Claire, and it's like, gosh. But got a good um, critical hit, so got out of there real quick. Anyway, let's continue on here. Let's get down. Um, so, 
<laughs> I, if I had a dollar for every single time my animals disrespected my recording time, I would be a very rich man. But it's it's fine. It's fine. You you guys, you guys like that, right? You like you like Kiko. You like all that fun stuff. Anyway. You know, I think the horsey evolution up to Kingdra. Really? Yeah, we're we're not gonna You'll see why we're not gonna do this at first. So I had to do a little bit of editing here. Because we needed a Pokemon that knew that knew how to learn Whirlpool, and I'm not gonna teach that to Maverick. You know that I'm pretty lenient when it comes to teaching Pokemon Cut, Sir, like some mo more often than not in HM. I'm pretty cool with giving it to my main Pokemon. You have to use it somehow. So instead, I went and got a Krabby, and the Krabby. Learned Whirlpool very quickly, so anyway, now you you have to answer some questions. Try to be as innocent as possible when you answer them, and you'll pass. Claire is absolutely beside herself. finally get our 8th gym badge and we can take on the Elite Four. It's an important move to have. Alright, and Bob6273, my guy. I got you. We're gonna get the Dratini. Name it Cat. Life's good. And Professor Elm wants us to head over to one, two, three, four, five, six. We got them all. I already said it, Bob, I got you. I appreciate you watching and commenting on my stuff. It means a lot, therefore, you get this Dratini named after you. In your honor. Appreciate you. So... So yeah, we're gonna get this guy a little stronger at first. Get rid of Rap. Waterfall's a pretty powerful move. Um, Thunder Punch would be cool. I doubt. Yeah, no. But then Dragon Breath, and all of a sudden, we've got a full team, guys. Exciting. These are, and I'm not gonna change my team in Kanto. If I do, it would be, have to be very circumstantial, and I'd have to really consider it. But we'll see. Not saying Jolion's the odd one out, but. 
Not saying Jolteon is not. He needs to learn an electric type move very, very badly. Alright, and we're done in the dragon's den. We can go on, just fly right out of here. We're gonna go just to the Pokey Center real quick. Get, transfer our Dratini out of here. Or deposit Krabby, get Dratini. Or get Kiko, gosh, I'm jumbled, my guys. Um, but yeah, no, this is the team, guys, this is the team. I'm excited. I don't, and that's why I said I'm not sure if I'm going to have a full team by the time the Elite Four rolls around, just because, I mean, that, we're eight badges in, that Pokemon's at level 15. I don't expect Dratini to, I, I mean, I expect to have a Dragonair by the time, certainly, but we're just going to have to see, so... There's only one more thing to do, guys. We gotta capture Suicune. That's right. The legendary beast. But there's a couple things we gotta do first. I just think that's funny how that guy follows your every move. Show him our clear bell. We are pure. And I actually heard this really weird theory about these three people um, I forget the origin of the, their names it, it means something but they all have knock towels and then they all have one of the three original evolutions and the theory is that the evolution instead of it being Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon It, they were originally evolved into Raikou, Suicune, and Entei. But, you know, history happens, whatever. And that's why these three men have... And this is not, this is not confirmed, it's a theory. It's not my theory. It's someone else's. Uh, if you looked it up, you'd probably find an extensive video on it. It's really cool. Um, but I think that I think it makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's a good move. Where looks better than Ember. <laughs> anyway, I can see it. I don't. I don't. I don't know if you can. Obviously, the designs are completely different, and they are completely different Pokemon. There's no way to turn an Eevee into Entei, of course. But just uh, it just makes you think. Like, what what could have happened there? Of course, this is a video game, and none of it's real. It's still real to me. Anyway, we're just trudging along now. Trying to get these guys down. I want to see Suicune. So close. And Fattis is so close to evolving. Hopefully, hopefully it's 35 before this is done. Once again, Big Porygon is the coolest evolution to this day. The coolest evolution. Always has been. All right, they 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 respect 
that I beat them, and now we're gonna be in for a, a nice battle against Suicune here. Let's save. Here we go. Oh. Let's see. This, I hope Oosh doesn't get whooped really easy here. I would honestly, uh, I don't know if I should do it again. Oh, so close. Wait, is, where, I bought four? I bought four? Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to use, we're probably just gonna have to use a Master Ball. That sucks. Crap. Oh. Okay, this is, we got lucky right there, used Rain Dance. I only have three more chances. Yeah, and it's not even budging. Oh. Last try. Oh! Four tries and we caught Suicune on an Ultra Ball. Okay. Okay. Wow. That, I didn't expect that. I thought we were gonna have to like throw all of our Pokeballs. We ended up throwing actual Pokeballs, a Great Ball, Premier Ball, whatever the heck. Oh my gosh, no, that's, that's, uh, wow. You know, I, when I was uh, in middle school and Pokemon Black came out, I caught Zekrom in a Pokeball on the first try. That's, this is the greatest accomplishment with Legendary I've had since. Oh my gosh. But anyway, that's, we've got our team, we've got our Legendary in the PC. We're about to step foot on Kanto. What, what an exciting little stretch. Oh my gosh. And yep, this guy's going to tell us we're in Kanto. So that's all we're going to do today. In the next episode, we're going to tackle Victory Road. And soon enough, we're going to be at the Elite Four. So... <laughs> That's exciting, guys. All right, we're getting through it. So, anyway, have a good one.